My name's Brian Erdley and I work for National Operations Unit um, and lead on protected areas work for SNH. And the reason I'm talking to you today is to talk about the Protected Areas 2020 Challenge Project, which is reviewing the way in which we look at and interact with our protected areas. The Protected Areas Project has been running for about 18 months now and has looked at what's good of, about protected areas and what needs to be strengthened as we go forward. The main thing that is, is quite obvious is that protected areas in themselves can't be all the answer to um, biodiversity enhancement and, and safeguard. They only cover around 17% of the land and about the same of the sea. So they very much need to be seen in the landscape within, within which they sit rather than as isolated islands, which can sometimes be the case. Climate change is bringing rapid changes which we haven't seen before and populations as a result are, are shifting around. So we need to recognise some of the big drivers for change such as climate. So the three big things that we, we need to do over the next 18 months, two years, is to start building local stakeholder groups which will gather around a protected areas area or a group of protected areas to discuss what's important about the area, what contribution the protected area is making to the, the wider landscape and the sorts of things that are important to local people and wider interest groups. The second thing we need to do is to get better at looking out with the boundary of the protected area. Too much to date we've been focused within the site boundary whereas we need to look at the landscape and consider the management that is going on and off sites so that we can take a more holistic view of wildlife management in the countryside. And the final thing we need to do is to put in place some measures that we can determine how successful we've been in these, these new initiatives.